Good morning and today I will show you the new place where I'm staying. This is green papaya. And those are the bananas ripening on the tree. And a pineapple plant with a little fruit inside. And in the back there are chickens and ducks. A wobbly bridge. Whoa. And look who we have there. Fresh eggs every day. If only I ate them. But these eggs I could eat. And here are the ducks. Flowers everywhere. That's a really pretty one. And that is the house itself. This is the place to do yoga at 5 in the morning. And this is inside the room. Collections of shells. And I haven't found the right spot to film yet, but this is an interesting angle because you can see the back of me and the front of me at the same time. Two angles, isn't it? Isn't it freaky? <laughs> what was I going to talk about today? Well, I'm overwhelmed with this change because it is very different. This place is nature and not much else. Everything is wood. Furniture is wood, floor and walls. It's all wood. Thick wood too. Very nice. The house breathes and it's... This, the little scent of the wood is natural and nice. And after I did the yoga today I went to the beach which is within a short walking distance from the house about 150 meters and there is nobody on the beach and the water is so clean and there is a like a long strip so you can run on it so I went for a run and then tried to go for a swim but the water was a little bit too cold I wonder why maybe there's a cold current somewhere it's nice and refreshing but I only went up to to my knees and <laughs> couldn't go anymore in Today isn't going to be about any lecturing, teaching, wisdom or advice. Today is just saying hello from Lena to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I am, I am going to say something. <laughs> I can't leave it without a little bit of brainwashing. Brainwashing is negative. A little bit with, of advice. With this move to this very house. I've brought very little things with me and I'm trying to lead a minimalist, pure, natural life. This is another challenge. This is... Mm, this is different from what I had because where I was was very convenient, close to the shops, close to the restaurants, close to everywhere. But here is far away from everything and you are faced with nature one-on-one -on -one. and although there is really good internet and fast Wi-Fi everything else is very basic. <clears throat> there's only one room, there's a very basic bathroom and there's a table outside so listen to the nature, get in touch with yourself, learn some Thai. I've already prepared the book for today, the, the pink book. You know, when I don't write translation, it's really hard to remember all the 3,000 words that I have learned. So I need to review them quite often. But going basic sometimes is good. Stripping your life of all the necessary conveniences, all the excess conveniences, when there is a bit too much that we get used to and oh this is uncomfortable and this was more comfortable in the old house but when you think about it what do we actually need to sustain life and to be happy and I'm just about to test that <laughs> okay now I'm going to say bye-bye and you have a good day see you